Saturday. I think this might be a crazy one. There's a lot of people in the chat already. Holy moly. Oh. Did you just hear something? I heard a voice. Who was first? Oh my. Lenny, what are you doing? I told you to stay quiet. <laughs> All right. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. What's up? Who's in the chat? Who's in the, who's in the first in the chat? Oh my god, Sotney, Dan Eider Studio, the Metaphase is here saying, bring in the hardcore today, that's right. Industrial Strength Records is here, yes indeed. Of course, you know who's my guest today, right? We've been winding up to this for weeks now. Eatsy's here, Ben Colt is here, DJ Cali C, Muo, Acid Bat, oh Acid Bat, he's a regular, uh, you're a little too late, I'm sorry, we had to cut him off yesterday because there's just a lot of submissions, I, I kind of knew there would be, I had a feeling. Next time, we'll get to you next time, Acid Bat. Kozeps is back, Hey Hardheads, that's right, Manual Gloat is back. We got some new names, I think, Surflo Sama, are you new? Glad you're here, glad to have you with us, D-Man 3000 is here, Dimmy B, Rock Me on the Thunderdome, yes. Yes, I think we can all agree with that one. Uh, ben Colts. I think that's oh, Steve Like is here. Silver Knobs is here. I think you submitted some stuff. Actually, quite a few of you have submitted are here in the chat already. That's excellent. We got Murillo, Agostino, in Brazil. Fantastic. Look at that. Jason Sostek, Serotonin Records. He's here. He's telling Lenny not to be quiet. Lenny, don't be quiet. We got. Fuja Records, D-Man 3000, Whittle Zielonka, first time, nice, Nicholas McCormick, very good crew here just to get us started out. You all have fun and talk amongst yourselves in the chat. Let's get going. Welcome everybody, it's another, it's a very special, a very special episode of Selway's Techno Saturdays here on 343 TV, brought to you by 343 Music Production School here in New York City in Berlin and online um if you want to know more about the courses i'm going to keep it short this time i'm not going to tell you what we're doing you know what we're doing we got classes going on we got uh we got ambivalent we got kevin in the other room teaching mixing you know we got alden in the other room like jazzing it up with some color bass like there's always a lot of great music going on around here so if you want to know more about what we're doing the classes we're teaching the programs we're running in person and online uh check the links below in the description that's that's what 
you need to do. All right. Of course, there's also the invite uh, link to our Discord, and the Discord is where you want to be if you want to join in on uh, things like what we're doing today with these feedback sessions where a whole bunch of you guys submitted some crazy tracks, some hard techno tracks, some very different styles of hardcore, gabber, rave, all sorts of craziness that we're going to go through today. And to help me do that, my guest, none other than the very legendary Lenny D from Industrial Strength. What's up, Lenny? Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> we, we are on the air. You are. I can't believe live it. and direct. We talked about having you on the stream like ages ago. I think even when we it, it was not during lockdown, but it, I might have reached out to you far that far back. Like I was trying to get everybody I knew to to come on and be a guest. Well, I'm glad we're here now. Exactly. Where are you, Lenny? I'm in my home studio uh, in my house, which a lot of you guys have your own home studios in your house. I got. I run Pro Tools. Uh, I'm using these X Mechanica at X Mechana Pulsar speakers, which are freaking amazing. What? It's like the best speakers I've ever had. <laughs> I've got some. Uh, I've got some. Uh, and so I've got your, your home studio is not like any old home studio. You're no. you're working with top of the line, like world yeah. class hardware in that studio. Yes, yeah, so I got a little SSL X rack in the back and some other outboard I just use for the mix bus. Not all the time, you know, depends. And um, yeah, you know, the room is treated. I had it. Th that's where it really, you know, you can put any speakers in here and get a, a pretty good response from mm -hmm. them. The, the room is small and those speakers are huge, but you can listen really low on them and still get pretty much everything that's going on uh, in a mix. It's they're used for mastering basically and mm -hmm. mixing. So they were designed, uh, for, for, for mastering. Okay. Really. Yeah. Those are and, usually like master speakers are generally the most detailed, right? Yeah. And this is a, if you want to know enough, what's wrong with your mix, they will tell you. Yeah, no totally. I get to hear how bad my mixes are all the time, <laughs> but they're three way speakers. Okay. So they're kind of they're deceiving, but there's a, there's a mid range, in in there on the tweeter and there's like three crossovers and there's a really great algorithm that kind of pops them all together so yeah. the fate the phase between all of them is it it's pretty cool. impeccable now Very every impressive. time almost every time i talk to you you'll just go deep you'll start nerding out about all this stuff with your gear <laughs> yeah. and the mixing well, and everything we'll but also quick. but i i, I want to talk a little bit about your because all right not some people here know exactly who you are right i said you're a legend you, i think you deserve that title you're one of the earliest like techno rave hardcore DJs from the United States to cross over and have a global uh, presence. You know, yes, we're talking totally. like late 80s already yeah, when you started yeah. putting out tracks and getting noticed overseas, yeah. right? Even before totally. it blew up. So, and along yes. with people like Frankie Bones, right? So you're like seminal. And then, and for me as a techno artist, and I also make house and other styles of music, you know, I love electro and everything, but like Oliver Chesler and I had our Disintegrator project. You were okay. I can't give you the like the you were the first, you were the second, but like because Jimmy Crash put us out first, but and we, then I went to that rave party. And then we and met you like, there, I gotta and then, like, get but, these guys. But totally. you helped us, Oliver and I, get start our career. So I just want to thank you for that and just say, just let everybody know that's how that's how far we go back, right? Early nineties, yes, totally. and that you're a really important person in the music scene, not just because I think so, and also like you know, so, so that's some history for some people out there. Yeah, and totally. then why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing in terms of your labels, what else you're doing on the side of that, like your sample packs, things like that, and just sort of where you're at right now. Well, I'm in a really good place at the moment. You know, the I, I love making the sample packs. Uh, at this point, I don't really technically make them all anymore because we have a design team and to the amount of packs that I need every week or every month. It's almost, it's pretty much impossible for one person to do it. I actually do the live music packs and um, kind of weird packs and stuff. So that, that keeps me in the, in the game, but I actually been working on a lot of techno. I've been focusing on that mm -hmm. uh, gigs and fabric and loads of parties coming up for me, which is great. Yeah. And, and I'm basically just producing 
uh, a lot at the moment and mixing. I, I love to do that even more uh, than producing, I'll be honest with you. That's why you'll it's go like, on for hours about your new speakers. Uh, yeah, yeah, to- <laughs> totally, totally. And, and I'm using Pro Tools, so it, yeah, there are other DAWs to write better, I guess, but I'm I'm pretty comfortable with everything. So yeah, I mean, everything's been going really good at the moment. You know, I'm you very gigs, happy. DJing? Yes, totally. You're still totally. out there headbanging it? Like still headbanging it, getting fucking my neck is hating me right now. <laughs> uh but yeah, I still do it. It's just part of me. I've been headbanging when I was doing disco. So, you know. Uh but That's yeah, right. That's like when you first started DJing, you were playing like disco, freestyle, disco. like electro. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> totally. And and if you think DJing is hard, Try some disco records with turntables where sure. it's with, a live drummer and you know, ooh, and like those, old, those old techniques, the pitch control was not as good as it is now. Like you no, really had to like be very careful, didn't you? Yes, definitely. <laughs> and, and you know, when I started in Europe, it was in like well, I started the label in '91, uh-huh. and I just sort of became this hardcore DJ that went all over the world, more so than all the other uh, DJs. I was already in the I guess the circuit, I guess, for illegal festivals. So, sure, right. you know, and there's not a lot of video footage because back in the 90s, the camera would be like holding up a, you know, a massive thing with, the, you know, VHS tape in there. So not a lot of things that you could really see back from back then, like, like just, now, obviously. I don't know. You can't see this right now, Lily, but I just put a picture up. It's one of your press photos. This is what Lenny looks like. It's this one where you're like, it's you DJing with the DOA shirt on, the red oh, one, you that photo? Yeah, this is, totally. this is Lenny D in action. This is what you yeah. can expect when he's at Definitely. your party. And that energy level is, he is personifies high. that. It's really, I remember this is the same when we heard you play at raves, at like the Storm Raves in in, in Brooklyn. Like back yeah, then, it's, so. a, it's amazing how many we sold of those things, you know? But you know what it is? It's like, it tells a story. Uh-huh. So it's, I mean, it has hot kick drums and things, but it's really all those tracks that what makes them kind of timeless is how they projected the vocals, the track. It was very cohesive. And you can listen to that stuff now and still get the same feeling as you would then. You know what I right. mean? I mean, the quality was is different, but mm-hmm. it was all analog. So there are different textures and things like that. But, you, you know, like between Manu Lamalin, Nazim Bluton, DOA, <laughs> I mean, I could go down the freaking list. You know, we've even had Carl Cox, Richie Orton, Daft Punk on the labels. It's uh-huh. Pretty insane, actually. You know, they when when I go back and say, "Wow, <laughs> I wish they would make a record for me now." <laughs> but uh, yeah, very very good. I'm I'm very happy to to A and R. I've been doing it mm-hmm. for like 30, 33 years, thirty two so years. That's you know, speaking of A and R and seg- get going into what we're supposed to be doing today. So we're, we're doing a feedback session, and those of you who've seen this out there before, you know that like. It's an opportunity for all you guys to share your music, right? And then it's also an opportunity for me and, and the guests that I bring in to like listen and give you, you know, I've positive feedback and also honest, constructive criticism. So totally, totally. Lenny has you know decades of experience and a, and a uh, for A and R and like choosing tracks, you know, in certain we styles. A, but he knows all music, right? You, we, you listen we have to everything, about, right? We have about three thousand tracks. That's insane. You have a huge Insanity. catalog. That's great. It, it's so, huge. It's like 700 records with God knows how many tracks on those. Uh-huh. And then then the digital is probably like another 200. And there's like four tracks from each one of those. And then there's that, all the sub <laughs> the sub labels. That's just sure. industrial strength. Yeah, it's industrial not strength, even hard electronic. There used to be IST. <laughs> Do you think you ever might do IST. IST again? Yeah, I am actually. I'm just searching for the reboot okay. you know you gotta be the right it's, maybe who knows maybe one of maybe the tracks today. You today so let's get into that right so you're coming at this with the ear of an AR, anr and you work fast right and i know you even listen to head to a lot of these tracks and you've got notes that's like the first time anyone's done notes ahead of mm-hmm. usually we just come on and give our initial first reaction right but this time you could go deep. I do so have notes. We need to make I did sure that miss we, a few. You, I that's did fine. miss a few. So there's still going to be a few that you'll be like hearing for the first time. But that's cool. <laughs> it's um, my pink mouse. And so we did a little pre-listening. There may be a couple that we're not going to just... If you don't hear your track today, it's either... It wasn't... We felt like it wasn't quite hard techno, hardcore. It was sort of a little outside of those genres. Or 
we, it's just a matter of time, right? You know, so we've got 35, 40 tracks to go through and we'll see what we can get through and we'll try to I be mean, efficient if, about it. If I can start with this, there were two tracks with the videos and that was very good. I right, right. Tr- let's reserve, know, so reserve we, the, 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 we'll actual, get to those. Yeah. So we still want to like kind of lay some, lay some, uh, like expectations here. Right. So we, yeah, I talked about a little bit. In, with the chat, I'm sorry, with the Discord channel ma- mainly, that and with you guys, that there might be opportunity to uh, name some winners and give some prizes. And so in terms of like actual, like a prize you can hold in your hand or download or something, what did you have in mind? What do we have in mind for like the, the top two or three uh, tracks that we're going to listen to today? Well, the, the winner will get three sample packs and a t-shirt. Number two will get two sample packs and number three, you will get one. That's but, all right. Um, let's just say that again. But the, you the never know. One... I might be feeling generous. Oh, so oh, maybe oh, well, everybody. Wait a second. Wait a second. Them. All I don't right. Know. You know, be careful what you say. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the winning track will be with a T-shirt and three packs three sample of your packs. choice. Uh, the second place winner two sample packs. The third place winner one sample pack. And you can choose any pack from uh, all my brands. We have Asset, which is more cinematic, industrial, noisy kind of mm-hmm. sound designy stuff. We have Industrial Strength, which covers everything from jazz to hardcore to pop. Yeah. And we're starting, a, 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 I have another brand which is completely commercial uh, called TD Audio. I do it with my partner okay. from Function Loop. So there's a lot of choices. Yeah, That's great. there's a lot of choices. And we have a new one from, uh, it's going to be called Spell Sound, which is mm-hmm. really geeky. It's like with stacks okay. and analog synths, and it's from the guy from Shiny Toy Guns. So, oh, okay. no, that sounds that sounds good. yeah, really interesting. That's in a few months that it, we yeah. launch it. So, okay, so we have some expectations there. Um, and the other th- thing we were thinking about, uh, just generally, is you know some of you uh, are making some pretty good stuff, like pretty high level yeah. stuff, and without making any promises. This is kind of like an introduction to Lenny and his labels as an A&R guy. So this is, a let's say, opening the door to Lenny possibly considering making a release with somebody. So that's not a prize Definitely. you're going to win. We're not promising a release, but we're opening the door to uh, a conversation with Lenny D about maybe doing something right so just keep yes. that in mind yes. you know just that little it's keep i'm trying to keep the hope alive right just like hope it's possible. is alive you can get hope is alive and you know and then so if you get feedback today and it wasn't as good as you'd hoped look at that as a learning experience from someone like lenny who knows as an a and r guy like what what to shoot for so yes, that the next time definitely. you do it the next time you send out a demo the next time you go for some feedback like you you have some ideas of what to what to reach for and to achieve? Yes, to, and, to and up you know, game. do not feel frustrated. It's yeah. part of making the music. Yeah, you know, you just keep I trying. You just through. keep trying. You do what you, you love. Gotta, and keep trying. Yeah, All I right. mean, I've had tracks and stuff that never came out. People didn't like them. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Sometimes I release a track and I didn't really think it was great, and everybody loves it. Mm-hmm. There's just so many variables, and just don't give up. And the mm-hmm. one thing I don't see on the internet. Have fun. Okay. We want to have fun. I'm definitely having fun doing these streams and having guests come on and listening to your tracks. And it's, I was thinking we were going to do about 15 minutes of intro. It is now 18 after the hour. We need to get started on these. Let's go, baby. I'm ready. Let's hear what happens. This first one we have here. All right. I can't read the the Cyrillic, but the user on uh, Discord is CC Genoa. And the track is called Quiet. Quiet. (laughs) It's not very quiet, though. I don't think it would be. Let us know how that sounds and for the volume levels. If it needs to come up a little bit, we can fix no, I'm, that. I'm good. I'm talking about I the stream, Lenny. I know you can hear oh. it. I'm bringing it up a little bit. I hope you can still hear me. Yep. All right. Mm. Let's cue it up a little. You want to jump in a little bit? Yeah, definitely. I like that bass. Yeah. Oh, this sounds like I already. I, we listened to this one yesterday. I already told Lenny. Yeah. I like this one. I would. This is yeah. a, my kind of techno, hard, groovy techno that I might play in a DJ set. A little trancey. That's fine. Maybe cue cue it up again a little further. Lenny works fast. He's like, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. Still going. 
We need to get into a break or something, right? Yeah, go for the break. It doesn't really have one until... He, here, towards the end of the track. And this is a short track. This is a banging track. There's that hook again. Four minutes, 13 seconds, we're almost done. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so... So, so to me, the, the track is vi very linear. Um, which for that style is really good. Well, the yeah, overall... like as a DJ for like as a techno DJ, like layering like three or four tracks, yeah. you're doing like multiple decks and looping. Like it's raw, good raw material, yeah. right? It, it sounds really nice. Uh, maybe the vocal is a little too low. Uh, oh, in the, interesting. In the yeah, headphone. you can make the hook a little bit up there. Yeah, and really a little bit ear. more. Like what you got to do is balance like the the snares and the vocals because usually when they're together, the syllables hit the snare. So if you're a being to get a good vocal, put it in mono if you have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, and just kind of lo look at like the, the track is here and the vocals here. So uh, an average pop record between uh, loudness and, uh, you know, oh, and the vocals, vocals are really loud on a pop record. Yeah, there, well, there's like four decibels when there's a breakdown. So you can mm -hmm. kind of use that as a guideline. Yeah, maybe it's, not, it's, but, a, it's a pretty uh, that would work. Right. But I think just generally yeah. like right, right here. Could be just it could jump out a little bit more, right? A little bit more, just like a DB or two. It's no, nothing right. that can't be. The groove of this fixed. is great. It's just locomotive. Yes. It's chugging along. Like th people will definitely dance to this. Definitely. Um, I, I would have myself. I would have put that little vocal break maybe earlier in the track and done it a couple yes. times instead of doing yes. it after three minutes. Like it could have yes. easily happened here around you know one and a half minutes or something. Two minutes yes. halfway through the I track. mean, if you're following some sort of arrangement, you mm. know, you 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 don't want to have it too linear because yeah, like you're, you're I mean, ears, okay, granted, you know, we we skipped through it. We might have missed the kick drum dropping out and little okay. tweaks here and there. Like, okay, we don't have time to go through it beginning to end because we've but got that, that's so a, many that's tracks, a good track. It really is a good this track. Is definitely a good one. All right, so thanks very She's much for that one. Uh, this track called Quiet. It's so not quiet. <laughs> it's banging. <laughs> All right, here we got. This is a regular. This is I've heard some music from him before. This is Steve Like This or That 303 remix. Oh wow. We might be able to bring the volume of this one up a little bit. Where's that volume control? Oh. Dark. Jump in a little bit. Yeah. I like that there's like trippy little things changing throughout, yeah. you know, in the background, kind of cinematic Definitely. style. Here comes some acid. Pretty good when it when you know not it's, it doesn't yeah. hit you like bang but like yeah, good energy right? right and it's still early let's go let's, in let's cue it ahead a little right more energy with the percussion a couple little breaks there that's good there's a lot of movement going on between these sections which is good and then we've got a break here go in a little bit building it back up yeah Let's see how it comes in. Yeah. Bad X. Pretty good. Totally. I didn't expect to hear that chord repeating on the kicker no, like that. No, definitely That's not. Different. That's good. Yeah, if, you, if you're able to do something that gets your attention in a good way that doesn't ruin the groove. That's... I, I did feel like the breakdowns um, going in Mm -hmm. Might be a little disjointed, like okay. So some arranging the, on the maybe? first break, yeah. It's a ra some arranging, and sonically in these headphones, I'm here in bottom and I'm here in top, but not but a lot I'm, in the middle. I'm not getting a lot in the middle. I think um, so. Yeah, I think you're on point with like mixing wise. It's not quite there. And yeah, one uh, compositional element here in this section. I don't love this thing that comes yeah, in. I feel yeah, like and that, I would, it kind of throws it I would rather it, it be more really. like this. I want to hear that yeah. again. That yeah, worked better definitely. than more one note acid. 
You know, the, it, it's when you're making tracks, like what I find a lot of times is uh, younger artists, they kind of lose focus mm -hmm. and they tend to add more okay. instead of spreading things out sure. uh, a bit easier and it'll help the sonics. And like for me, I'm missing that mono center, you know, like the, either the hi-hats or even the kick in mono. I've been tending to use more mono lately in the right. tracks. It gives it a bit more, but but good track, good track. Very good track. Someone in the stream is asking for a higher volume. I think we did uh, yesterday when we set up. <laughs> I had the I had the volumes up higher, but it was a little it was a little out of bounds for Lenny, and I wanted to make sure he's got the best. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I could lower it from here. I no, think, no, 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 no. I think it's the, oh, the whole mix going out to the stream, not just you. Oh, okay, okay. I think, you know, like, I think everything wants to come up. Uh, I'll do my best, but easiest thing for you guys to do is just turn your speakers up, your headphones up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, so, that's why we have a volume control. That's right. You know. Let's move along. Anyway, ni ni nice one from Steve Like, uh, Thanks very much. Here, uh, I think that's an interesting title. I wonder what this is going to sound like. We got the weed is kicking hard from Bunchy. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's turn that up a little bit. Yeah. And while that happens, I'm going to try to fix the mix for the listeners, for the viewers. Cue it up. Yes, yeah. Trippy Trancy. Yeah, I like it. Maybe go a little further. Sure thing. Let's go to the break. Yeah. Just put the uh, level of the music up a little bit. Is it a good? Yeah. Is it good for you guys? Can you hear me talking over the music? Let's jump in a little bit more. See what else the sucker does. Yeah. Okay. I think we to heard, me, we heard this track. To, yeah, yeah. To to me, um, sounds great. Arrangement, everything's there. Just a bit more on the high end. You know, it sounds like there's a lot of bass mm -hmm. and the high end goes down. And if yeah. you're using a, a two-way speaker, the crossover uh, could be misleading yeah. on the lower end, like a 200, some of them cut out, like, yeah. like a thing like this. So you got to, like, maintain. If you got such a good bass, you got to maintain the, the high end. I thought the acid could have been louder as it's the main thing of the track. I right. mean, I know the, the kick is important, but... It seems like the kick overwhelms the high end, and the, there's a lot the, of mid range in that kick. It's got that kind yeah. of chesty. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like, you know, I, I think it, not that kind of kick can work, but it's got to be balanced, right? It probably needs some more like compression yeah. EQ. I also wouldn't mind a deeper thump underneath it, right? Yeah, it's, it's kind it's of light for on me the to, sub this track. Yeah, and this the high end seems to get, and the acid could. Just because you have the kick here, right? right? And then you got this kind of in the middle, yeah. making this work like louder. But don't be afraid to push the the high end or push the rhythm, the the, the high hats, because that's really the rhythm. After, I mean, okay, it's got the kick, but you got that acid, uh -huh. and, you know, and these things are balanced great. But then you got this kick like this. So if you kind of balance the whole thing, I think you'll get more out of the track. But musically, no, musically moving. Good. You I know, say, on a big. I mean, it's got that one little break in the middle. Another one of those might be good. Because you know, yeah, the, the or, last, or maybe the last two thirds of this track don't change as much. Like, well, you see, that's a. Do you know what would be a good idea? Have a section where it just drops down to like the drums and the bass and not as much of the acid y stuff yes. and then bring it back, right? That could be well, you, you know what you know what it is? It's arrangement. A yes, lot of the tracks I did heard is the arrangement. It's like, you know, just so you guys know, the human ear gets bored after four things. Let's let's say if you look at drums, 
bass, vocals, and synth. When you start with four things, and once it gets up there, you, you kind of got to trick the ear so it doesn't get bored. And if you're mm. listening to your tracks and go, oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? It, it's probably more the arrangement than anything else. You know, okay. it's really how you flow with the with the tracks, cool. you know? Wise words from Lenny. Uh, I Definitely. agree entirely. Like, you don't need... You, sometimes fewer things that change often is better than too many things that yes right. yes and I, and I understand techno <laughs> is linear yeah. but you know you know you can even do little filter moves yeah, on the hi-hats modulation keep keep, keep your ears yeah, yeah it's it's really important it really is let's get into the next one this is oscar cuidad untitled number one. Oh, techno speaking of techno here we go buddy but that raw underground a little bit old school, but with, a, with, with, a, with a modern sheen to it. I like this. That kind of thing, that little sweep when the kick drum dropped out. That's cool. Yes, indeedy. Yeah, nice sense. Maybe go a little further. Sure. You're, I, I, I like it, Lenny. You know we need to keep moving forward. We can't listen too long. Yeah. We run out of time. We gotta get yeah. here. Gotta move it along. More filter moves here. I like how we brought things yeah. out right there. Like it's yeah, less totally. intense. That was nice. More up now it, we got this obligatory gratuitous 909 ride symbols in there. You gotta have it. <laughs> sounds good. All 20 sounds years good. and it still sounds good. Oh, that's good. Yep. Badass. Dude. <laughs> Wepa! Another break. And each break is a little bit different. I like that. Yes, that's very important too. I like the reverse. Detroit taught me Very how to good do those reverses on my techno tracks. That was so like, uh, like on all those Jeff Mills and Underground Resistance records from the early '90s that had all those reverse edits in them. Totally, totally. Hey, well, look, I've right, heard it. I've heard enough. Man. This is a good okay, one. Okay, my only criticism. Oh and this boy, is here my we go. Only one. I think the intro could have started out a little bit sparser. Oh, like start but, lower. But, Start with less a little, like and instead of the yeah, like dun, start, dun, dun, let, wait until your the first yeah, the kick, or even the, the, synth, the synth filter down. Yeah, or coming in later, mm -hmm. or with the hi hat a little because it, it really comes in all at once, which is not bad. Well, if for you're techno. mixing this kind of techno, that all it works because you're cutting the bass out and you're smoothly smoothly yeah. sneaking it into the previous track. But I just feel like in the the first, I don't know, eight, sixteen bars, it, it just could have yeah, let up bit less. Yeah, it's and more then just to listen build to it as well that way. Yeah, I mean, after that intro, it's all really perfect. I, I kind of, uh, mm. when I mix and play records, I kind of like it a little sparser because usually the record that I'm coming out of has stuff going on as sure. it kind of right, right, drifts right. down, you know. So you know that that could be really good instead of turning the bass down, make the bass the intro, and then where you did the filters from there on, your your ass kicking it. Got it. Got it. Nice one. All right. As we move forward, Overmind. Oh, it's A. May. It's a, another right. uh, a regular coming back here. Fabulous, fabulous. And a little different. Oh, me which like I it. am not surprised by. This particular producer does a lot of this kind of stuff. And you know I love Electro. Yeah, it's I love of, it too. Opens up the discussion. It's like, does Electro fit into hardcore, hard yes. techno? When yes. He says yes. And who does. am I to disagree? Yeah, well, you know what it is. It breaks up the. Dun, 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 dun. So mixing it in, well, you can mixing drive new energy. Breaks, for example, and it could be yes. Electro as well, right? Totally. So, and the tempo's pretty fast when you bop to it. Not compared to like, come on. A lot well. of the tracks we're playing are like 160, 170. Yeah. This is like when I play techno, I'm 150. You can speed this up, but 133 respond, even. I think what you're also responding to is like the grit and the darkness of this. Yeah. This has like some dirt, distorted 808. It makes it a little more hard edged, so it could fit with some hardcore, harder techno stuff. I like it. Go forward a little. 
I like that on the kick drum. Whatever, yeah. that's some. Um, yeah, that's some distortion kicking off on that. Sounds like uh, bit reduction or sample rate reduction. Sample rate reduction. Oh, yeah, I mean, bit re- Or it could even be like uh, audio rate modulation or something. I don't know. Like, there's some craziness going on. This is dirty. I want to hear this really yeah. loud. Yes. Good arranging. Ring mod, yeah, that's Dita Driga says ring mod, probably ring mod. I like that lead. Cool. Can we go a little further? We're almost to the end of the track now. I've been skipping through all the right. time. Well, look, let's um. Oh, vocal oh, well. we need evil robots. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's saying, but oh, is it saying overmind? Or is he saying fuck you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Lenny. This is a family-friendly <laughs> show. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It, it is. It's marked not for kids on YouTube. You're fine. Yes, that's it. <laughs> um, well, I could tell you straight Dude, by listening to it. This is really good. Um, I I think that vocal. That thing could have came in a little sooner. Oh, we might have skipped the... it. Maybe a Mace here. He could, it's, a Mace says, first cheesy robot vocals I've ever made. Not sure I love them. But I like them, and I think they're a little yeah. buried and dark. Yes, yes. Just like we were I saying just... with the vocal sample in the earlier track, like, make it up front. Make it louder. Be more confident yeah, about it. Be, make it brighter. De- definitely, definitely. A little brighter. Um, the actual track is really good. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. felt that when it was going into that, uh, maybe you should have just went straight into the vocal mm-hmm. and pulled it up more yeah. and then take it down a little bit instead of going, bum, 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 you know, this way it'll, it'll, it'll make the arrangement a little bit more tighter for people listening to it that okay. are dancing to it because they want to go to that next level and sometimes taking it back kind of kind of might throw that off a little bit i mean yeah. i i love Good electro advice. yeah definitely. i love electro and you you made some like back in the day you made like Ooh. some of those musto records that were kind of freestyle yeah, electro breaks loads, totally I, I used to work for arthur baker oh yeah uh, that's, for those that's of you right. guys don't know he's like the guy that really really yeah. fucking got the 808 really happening yeah like, you made that you know, planet, planet rock, rock. We were like let's yeah. see if we could do like craft work and hip-hop at the same time and it was... yeah yeah john roby and an author i used to do a lot of the tracks i was his production assistant huh. so what i would do is go over all the master tapes recreate samples and sound i had my own Amazing. little room which wasn't very little at all and then we had the ssl room where we did the mixes so i'd be working on a sony mci with tape and we pull the tape and put we it in the come, other this, we should have oh. you come back on for like a 80s oriented like electro oh, yeah. new york oh thing. forget it we got totally. sure you have amazing stuff to talk about we got to keep moving forward with these tracks let's we go babe salt chunk by uh, salt chunk Tom that was Relic. a nice that's a good cover i saw that cover was good A little low on the levels of this one, but maybe it gets louder. Yeah. Ah. My mixer's giving me problems. Come back here. Ah, it does get louder. Interesting. Jump in a little bit. Setting the vibe though. Interesting vibe. Badass. Cool movement with the sounds. Did not expect the chord stabs. No. track it's yeah. become more mellow now we're, we're kind of yeah. a little outside of the hard techno i mean the beats are tough could we cue it think, up a little more interesting synth melodies that's here. rocking yeah it's, this is cool so like go like, a little further i i already hear it's getting a little electronica like you know 
Seems like there's a lot going on. Well, I, I can, I can, I can tell you. I kind of skipped over where the, the, sound, the song drops back in, but what were you gonna say? All right, well, I'm, I, from what I'm hearing as of now, the track is really great. I do feel that that chord stab. Maybe on that breakdown, you should start getting into the stuff we're listening to now, like and the kind of stuff. Op- yeah, and kind of open it up a little mm. because a lot. It just sounds like also the arrangement. Remember when there's like four things going on: bass, drum, synth, or whatever, a uh, vocal. You you want to keep going maybe from four to two to three to two to four, and just take the elements there. You probably didn't need to do any more than what you already had in the stabs they could be great at the end because then you can you know extend the feeling of the track i just maybe a little too close and maybe that other breakdown that we were listening to was it had all the energy and you want to build it up build it up and then you can put the chords in towards the end and then break it down so you can mix out of it that's pretty important for me when i listen to tracks because Mm -hmm. if you can't put it on and you can't take it out um (laughs) Sorry, most DJs, whether they like the track or not, are not going to play it because if you're in front of 30,000 people, you don't want to have any problems. I edit my tracks mm-hmm. when yeah, I, some, some when people I play. Do that. They'll, like, they'll get a track and they'll go, yeah. oh, this is cool, but this part doesn't work for me, and then they'll yeah. chop it up. Yeah, I, I edit the tracks. Not yeah. all, but for some, the most right. part, I do. All right. Let's check out the next one. This is uh, Huascar by Garretts. Bring that up a little bit. Jump in a little bit. Crazy vibe. Yeah, totally. Mysterious. Dark. Oh my gosh. It looks like this. It sounds like this looks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe move it ahead a little further? Yes. That's the percussion. Yeah. Of course you had to do that big cinematic brom all by yeah. itself in the break. That makes sense. People, woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we got some lead action. There's a lot of good development in this track. Good stuff. A little trancy, but, or let's say, not trance though, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Hypnotic, melodic techno, but not. I don't know. It's dark. All right, I'm gonna show. Well, you. I, you I can. I. Well, look, it, it all. Man, it sounds good. I think some of those big wah synths need mm. to be balanced a little bit better. I think, I they think come everything out about this track is great. Up but, and up, but the mix needs work. Yeah, it, definitely. It's gonna like, sound muddy on a big system the way it is. Yeah, and you see where you had the high stuff coming later. Uh-huh. You should kind of put that a little earlier so the ear changes a bit mm-hmm. you know you started out with your would would it really good but yeah it seems a little little dull but uh, this is stuff that can be easily fixed you know i mean if some of the highs if you put some of those highs a little sooner mm-hmm. they'll get to where you want them to go sooner and then when you have You're talking big about breakdown, the, the, in the arrangement yeah sure, in the okay. arrangement but sonically as well like oh, i don't right. know I'll just if you, you start the, the, you know this is a dark you know, this is what, mm. what does he say? A dark hymn to the ancient Lord Huascar. You know, like so Ooh. it's gonna you want it to sound dark, but that's musical dark, right? Yeah. The yeah. Sounds and the melodies. The yes, mix yes. is a little too dark. I would yes, make this definitely. sound brighter and more open and more careful about like your mid range and you know you yeah, can just, you, yeah you can automate the uh, like if you mm-hmm. use uh, a vocal a uh, what is it from waves the vocal rider or the bass rider? Uh, I know it's 
not what they're supposed to use it for. But either one of those will, will give you a sense of movement and then you can get like a better uh, balance with it yeah. or you just automate it or just bring it down a, a DB. Like mm -hmm. sometimes the bottom is heavy and the top is light. So just lower the bottom of it and tuck it in a little yeah. and, and you, and then and get when you're getting, there, Lenny. yeah, you get it brighter <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> Let's, do another, Sorry. Let's do another one. another one. We got, uh, anyway, I like that track. It was cool. Um, we've got another regular here, silver knobs, uh, HMDT, which stands for uh, handmade Detroit techno. He's using all hardware. Okay, right? great. So a little bit of a different sound. Let's see what he's got for us today. Yeah, bring it on. I might need to jack up the levels, I think. It's analog. Got to do it. How's that? Yeah, that's dope. And just in general, for the, for the, for the stream, everybody watching, are you hearing us speak over the music okay? The levels are all right. I tried to bring things up a little bit. All right, let's jump in a little bit. But yeah, I am hearing this. This is a little harder, more driving than I usually hear from from uh, Silver Knobs. But still very kind of dark and minimal and hypnotic, right? Let's see where else he's going. Cool little noises in the background. It's really trippy. Cue it up a little. Go a little farther, yeah. I think that's really we're pretty much there. Yeah. Well, I can say it, it is actually. Yep. Sonic, sonically, it's really good for analog, 100%. Not not just because it's analog. It sounds really good. I just wish after a certain point, maybe you should start uh, modulating or moving stuff around a little to make the zenith point a bit more. Hmm. I mean, if you're doing it all live at once, I know that's really hard to do. There's a lot of do. moving parts to pay attention to in real time when you're doing yeah, it by yourself. But other than that, uh, because of the way that track is made, it's good, really good. You you had everything moving. It just kind of, for me, it went on a little too long. So maybe working on drums or mm. bringing in something that kind of accentuates what's going on in the track. But flawlessly, everything's in tune. Everything sounds really good. I, I like the way analog sounds. So yeah, no, it. Um, you always get my thumbs up for that. Yeah, it has. You can tell nowadays. There's a lot of people making tracks you know, dollless, so to speak, or using hardware yeah. or whatever. And, you know, the instruments you choose are going to determine the overall sound, right? And yeah, um, yes, yes. And if you're making an analog and it seems a little lower than your digital counterparts out there. Well, mixing wise. Yeah, it, it's to be expected. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? Because but you can all the still gear... learn like, okay, if it, it, you kind of when you're doing this live and you're recording straight to stereo and you're not multi-tracking, yeah, um, you you need to spend maybe a little bit more time setting up your mix before you do your 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 pass. Yes. So yes. what you could do, and I I this would is for me because I've heard a bunch of uh, Silver Knobs tracks previously. It's pretty much usually the same. Like it sounds good, but. I want it to be sort of brighter and bigger, and that's all just levels in EQ. It doesn't even have to be yeah. fancy plugins. It's just the balance of instruments. You know, yes. maybe sometimes a little bit more effects on something. Like you can push yeah. it a little harder. Um, totally mixing and I into compressors, about... mix, using saturation, like at, in the writing process in the beginning, it, right? And then yeah, do and, your tracks, it, run your it, tracks through that. It's going to make it sound a little bit more uh, exciting uh, compared to other music that out there that maybe you know you, all, you, you also have to remember when you're making analog all the gear wants to see minus 18 yeah uh, i know which yeah you want so, dynamic range so sometimes if that's your why track you use saturation a little lower, and clipping and like pushing you know, a little. <laughs> if it's it's like when you're using analog plugins analog style plugins you might not get that full volume but yeah. once you once it's after the fader you can crank it but really cool track yeah good 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 job let's move on to the next one we've got do you know anything about techno from touring 999 i think so okay i think uh, we do so i think a little Ooh, all right oh my goodness it. that's a little loud <laughs> that's good i think i turned i turned i turned it up oh oh, oh my gosh 
Well, Violation. you see, that's that's the difference with some of the analog, some of the digital. You this know, is you digital. Get this is like fluctuating. Lap. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. Industrial hard techno, like you know. We could turn that up a little more. There we go. Mm. Again, I mean, I love it when people pick these. Is this like an AI-generated robot? Cyber, cyborg? I mean, this is... Cyborg 100! This picture, it looks like the music sounds. You know what I mean? It's appropriate. Move it up a little bit more. Yes, indeed. All right, I'm going to put it right before this first little break here. Leaps. It's like, uh-oh, something's happening. Alert. Go a little further. What are they singing? Saying the cult is chanting. Let's go in a little bit. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wait, first off, wait, break, break, break. Are you, you're already ready for the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear the last break and then we'll. Uh... Okay, first so, thing. Do you know anything about techno? The hook. Okay, I got it. You're, you're just. I got you want, it. You're, you're done. First, you want to, you want to give them a lot for. <laughs> yeah, for, first the sample of bringing inside your soul. I got about. I got a great record with that in it. I, oh, I've been playing. So you so, hear so many tracks, and you know all the sample packs, and you know where yeah. it sounds. Like. You know so that. So burying it in there, you you, you might not want to. You know, when you're hearing a track and there's a similar, well, if there's a track with the same sample, you might want to spend a little time on maybe even saying it yourself. You know, ah, yeah, 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 like read. You know, them. because you're you're basically chasing the dragon. Dude, you, now listen. You, do you know, like do you know I, which is amazing is that people will take vocals or samples from and then upload them into these AI voice generators and change the voice to someone else. Yeah, well, that one doing that I knew, with like singing I, vocals, but you could do it with any talking. You could like resynthesize that sample to have another voice saying it, or say it yourself. Say it yourself. You know, it's it's much it's more interesting. But I did feel there was a lot going on all at once. All right. I mean, I just uh, want to say, and, in general, and it was this is loud. Good, like, it, this is a good track. It's banging. It's like you know, it, it, it is a little loud, right. um, you know, and pushed. Right. But that's the vibe. You know, yeah. I get it. Um, I just felt there was a lot going on right away. So you think mix wise and, is what I, you're talking about? Yeah, a bit mix wise and the arrangement, maybe some of that stuff could come a little you know, you know, look, after about a minute, a minute and a half, something's gotta happen, you know, yeah. because if you're mixing at sixty four bar mixes or thirty three or whatever, that's all good. But this track is eight minutes. Yeah, you this see this track probably didn't need to be eight minutes. So it does could, not need it could to move be eight along minutes. more quickly. Yeah, like we yes. jumped through it and you heard it in two minutes. But yeah. if we were to say, I mean, there's you know, that's a long track. It so. is a long time. You know, what you should yeah. always do is like sometimes I overwrite and then once I'm done, I listen to where my ear gets bored. And then cut. And then I start doing global edits. Same. You know, oh, you my, know, my and, tracks and almost it's, always start out longer and then they yeah. just trim down. I've been guilty. I got a, a remix going a fucking hostile on there. It's like six minutes. Another the original, one? The original was three minutes. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm going, that's not meant to be six minutes. We no. have a, we have a whole bunch of, uh, we're going to do a 12 inch of it all. It's uh, and awesome. re remaster everything. That's great. Okay. Moving along. We've got detonate pump mm. this. Yo, pump it up. Yo. Huh. All right. Nice one. That is uh, really loud. I just, just want to make sure you guys can hear us. Tight. Also sharp. Like the, it's it's thick, but then the highs are forward. Yeah. I would say this is a very current style of hard tech. Yeah, you? definitely. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. 
thing. Yeah. Call and response. I like that. They're playing against each other. That little high one. And then... Yeah, definitely going good. Cue it up a little. Okay. Lots of tricky little edits on the transitions. That's yeah. great. Fine. Look, it's that 909 ride again. This got, that side, got that side trance. Yeah, I mean, oh, nine out of ten hard techno tracks now go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sell a lot of I sell a lot of sample packs with. The, 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 so definitely. Oh, oh, you have to check out the brakes. This looks pretty like full on. Yeah. Hey. Bad the ass. beats in there. Definitely very current. Got some moody chords in the background. It's almost like this is a yeah. Good song. Yeah. I, honestly, I almost wish this was another song. I like this all by itself. Yeah, right. It's always good to get like a little extra feeling in there. Okay, I got, I got it, I got it, I got you. Lenny has got you. I got you. Well, okay, first thing. In the beginning, you got all those little screeches, Jack. right? You got the screeches. Then there's this little <laughs> this little voice, okay? Yeah. I would drop the little voice huh. until your next break. And then, I mean, it's not much later, you know? Mm. This way, when you're mixing, you got that. Then there's the break, and then... You'll just get one little step of energy. I thought the break was a little too long, but the second half of the break had all the energy. Like, because yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's building up. Maybe yeah. if you're going to come down, that transition between coming up could be a little tighter, a little I closer, like the idea of you know? going on a tangent and like, what's going yeah. on in the break? Where are we? This yeah. is where, you See, know, but then also it goes maybe a little too far too away long. from yeah. the original. It goes too long in my That's opinion. Your you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So it, it kind of deadens your ear and mm. see how it all picks up with the do do that boom, boom, like that. Amen. Yeah, I, I think more, more like at the very end when it's more straight. Yes. Yeah. I, I yeah. Definitely develop that. If, yeah, because you, know. you know when things are breaking too long, like people definitely stand still. So you don't want to have them standing still unless they're kind of going whoa, and then you bring them back up. Yeah. I know it sounds stereotypical, yeah. but it works. You yeah. can't you can't de you can't deny that when people are drunk and all messed up that they, you know, time all for them is up. yeah yeah time for them is very short. Uh, <laughs> so the attention span, okay. you know, you don't want to lose that along the way. But very good track; it had cool. everything you need. Here we good go. Job. We're averaging about three minutes per track, Lenny. We're moving along fast. I think uh, we're doing all right. This is good. all right. We can even go faster. I'm ready. I can hear things pretty. All right. So this is a, a little bit different. We got Noise Game by Eider Studio. I like that broken beat 909 yeah. going on here. That's cool. Heavy duty. Yeah. Nice one. Going a little bit. See yeah, a little bit more. Next break. Yeah. Different. A little more experimental in a way. Yeah, a bit more EBM. Right, got another break and build up here, I think. Alright, 
to jump in a bunch. There we go. Yeah. Wandering around a little bit, I'd say. Yeah, pretty move it deep. up a little. Pretty deep. Right, another break. Here's some strange melodies happening in the background. Move it's it just, up a little more? Yeah, it's almost to the end of the break. I was, okay. Kind of long. Okay. Next. Okay, I got you. I got you. All right, look. I'm a, this should have happened sooner, right here. But yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. Uh, great track. To me, it doesn't sound like an A-side track. Mm. It's something that I would love to have on the single a compilation mm -hmm. because it, it has really great feeling and it is minimal and i like that and yeah. i love the broken beats um maybe the break is a little long but you know if not it's more really of a listening this, oriented yeah. thing as opposed to a making the dance floor go crazy kind of yeah a thing. yeah and if or you're it's playing a warm -up in, track or it's for real late at night yeah. and everybody's completely out of their minds and, if, you if you're playing uh ebm broken beat broken techno things like that and that stuff also fits 4-4 four four. Yeah, yeah you could see how you have your rides doing their 16th note things right and, and and juicing it up so there wasn't really anything wrong with it <coughs> oh, excuse me just maybe not an a-side killer yeah i would say like that part right there yeah where the, where, where the pads and the musical stuff drops out this is the best part of the track and you yeah. waited how many minutes to do it seven almost seven minutes Ooh, so like see. if you had done this this little build here and then jump to this that would have been a hundred times better right yes, away totally totally and then you do this i'm not looking again, uh, and then you do this i think what kills it for me not kills it but like reduces its effectiveness yeah is too much drone yeah and take you the know, drone I'm, away let the beats come forward bring the drone back i'm, and I'm not looking that, and then this will I'm, be like a, a level up i'm not looking at the running time um which i normally do yeah so i i didn't know that it was seven minutes yeah it takes a I, long I, time to get there. i would take the whole track uh -huh. as is throw it in your door and edit and, and just edit until right. it keeps moving and moving and if mm. you can even get that baby down to six five five, five, and, five and, and a half, half. Four and a half, depending on how much half, you cut out. But this is still long and in, in, in hypnotic. You don't need to go down yeah, to a yeah. short attention span length. Yeah, I feel like yeah. five and a half, six minutes yeah, is good. You got to shave it off and get yeah. to the zenith points of the track a little faster. All but right. Other than that, next, you know, next that's up. That's a good range stuff. Of so far, so good, right? We're hearing a lot of good yeah. stuff. Very, got, very uh, impressed, actually. I'm very happy. Thanks for sending the tracks, guys. Yeah, sure. really. Guys Bo and girls, sorry. Bo Just say they. They. <laughs> Both a e Echinopsis. Okay. All right. All right. This one's already, this is going to be a, this one's a three uh, minute, 40 second track. I'll let you know what the lengths are ahead of time. That'll help you. Pretty good energy, right? Yeah, definitely. You want to go in a little? Yeah, cue it up a little more. Yeah, it hasn't really... It's been about the same for the first minute. Oh, wait. It, it, here's a change. A little break. A little melodic variation. I already, I already, you can stop it. I, I'm gonna, I wanna hear, that. come on, it's only, it's so short. Okay, yeah, I already heard it. I already heard, I already heard that track uh, prior to okay. this. So you know, okay. you know what to say. So I knew, I'm sorry, I wasn't meaning to cut you off. I actually did hear it. What I do is the quality is great. Yep. It starts out, you got a really good motion, really good music, uh, synth sounds. I do hear everything getting a little louder in bits. The only thing that I, I wish was there when you were making your changes that dun, 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 I just felt that it 
just doesn't happen enough. Like you hear a little bit of it and then it's like a little teaser, but maybe just get to that point. So it's not three minutes. It's like you pull out this whole new chord thing that changes and then bring it back down and then make sure you have a way to mix out of this track because there's really no way to mix into it. I feel like uh, could have yeah. had a little bit more drummy because you're already starting with everything on I you know so you're with, a... i would have started without the bass yeah doom, 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 and then doom, doom, waited doom, doom, doom. you know eight bars and then brought the yeah. bass in yeah and then it's bringing in the hot the ride symbols yeah in intro and then switch to the the bass the the, the, the the note going up and down and the chord stab yeah. comes in maybe take yeah. the kick drum out a little bit more like right yeah do this a little, I, I think little it was more. just a little too linear and you have every element sounding great in the track yeah yeah, yeah. so if you just do the arrangement a little bit more and look at that chord, dun, 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 it's just some more, dun, some more dun, dun, levels dun. going up and down, especially mm. at the beginning and the end. Good, track. but I love I love the track. Good track, really. Yeah. I was listening to I was dancing in my underwear before. Not that you want to visualize that, but uh. <laughs> all right. Now you, I played this one for you already, Lanny, when we met up yesterday. This is one of my students, actually. This is Vosgan, and this is completely different than the music he usually makes. Okay. Which, and I, but I think he he hit some nails on some heads with this one. This one's definitely got a familiar, uh, accurate oh God, style. Yeah, I like this one too. short one is two and a half minutes. This is, I think this is I, I heard time. I heard this one already too. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, I love it's the so drum programming. <laughs> uh, it, it, the drum programming is really great. It has a lot of energy and it yeah. moves around a lot, so the arrangement is all cool. It's a bit of an old school styling right. track, so so the headbanger sample is actually I know the sample from a few old records, but nobody knows that now, and I think it's put together really well. I think the drum mm -hmm. programming is what really keeps pounding it, and even if it's short. Uh, if you're going to make some kind of gabber like this, you, you need to have an outro at least for 8 to 16 bars. Because I play old uh -huh. gabber sets. Yeah. And, and, you know, when there's nothing to go, you tend not to play it. Because the older tracks, of course, had all this going on. But right. now when I replay older stuff that might have been better in the 90s, I tend to look where I can put it in. Because mixing that stuff isn't isn't easy. Especially yeah. with the digital, it doesn't have the. Mm -hmm. It's got that analog, but very good track. Very yeah, good track. I think you, it's did, good. you did a did a good job. And you know, some of you out there know, uh, you know, his uh, Voskan submissions from previous uh, uh, shows. This is very, very different than what he usually does, which is much more musical and a little housey and jazzy. I was referencing like Dave Angel and that kind of stuff. No, and, like, it's it's, it's sound, really good. He's, he's got some good stuff. Uh, so yeah, the was programming. This, fun, this was a fun uh, departure for Vasca. Yeah, and you know, you kept the feeling alive, and Definitely. that's the most. That even though it might be short, you know, tagging an intro and tagging an outro. Yeah, you could it, add in just some, like keep... more of a mix in and mix out section. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I'm and a big fan of that. And then Lenny might play <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah! I got loads of old school Gabba things kicking off right in here. All right, let's keep going. We've got uh, ill fated, triggered. There's a the track fades in. Try me, you fucking weasel. Uh oh. This is unsettling. I am disquieted. <laughs> the fuck 
calculator to a fucking retard. He's gonna try to turn on a TV with it. TV with it. <laughs> this sounds like some new school stuff, man. Yeah, this I, I heard different. this one too. Oh, there comes that crunchy knock on the kick. Good lord. Why did you become a fucking expert on what I can or cannot do, you fucking weepy willow shit sack? <laughs> Man, I like cool sounds in this I, heard, I, heard, I heard this one before too. Whoa. Do you want to cue it up a little bit more? So this has the big, long, trippy break too, but it keeps yeah. the vibe similar. It doesn't change Definitely. the vibe too much. Definitely not a family friendly show today. Not at all. Different. Go a little further. Okay. Okay. I got. I, I heard this one. Okay. Wait, in, in all I want to hear is this. Wait. Just before you say anything else. Why did this only happen for like twenty seconds yes. and then go away? Yes. This is okay. awesome. That, this is the where, whole party right here. This is where, peak time. Killer right here. Exactly where we were yeah. at the end before uh, when we were saying to stop. That was more like a filler. You mm. need to go back to this. And, you know, it's also back to the arrangement, but it's also the focus. And there's, I think the vocals could be a little bit louder, but try not to put samples that say retard. Oh, and yeah. Okay. Things like that. DJ Kelly uh, says, and, C said, this song isn't woke. I love it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll be honest. A, it's not for everybody. I'll be honest, Nowadays. you know, just for that mix. I think even in the in the beginning when you had that one sample, you should have just let the mixing go a little bit more and then took that other sample and went forward. But I really feel that the vocals could have been a little, a little bit louder. Mm. Um, and you just have to watch the content of what they're actually saying. Like even well, me, this may be a deliberate you know, choice. You know, we we could get into yeah. a whole discussion about like. I, I just think that. overall it's, it's politically, more politically, culturally, socially, you yeah, know, but it's let's more PC. stick towards the arrangement and mixing. You know, you could say fuck <laughs> shit, god damn it, I don't even give a fuck. It's but how it's one, directed at some particular yeah, person. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, it's not a big issue, but uh, it, if you it, really... It might get you turned down by a record label. It's possibly. I think yeah, so looking just pragmatically, possibly. like you're trying to get your tracks out there and signed by someone like Lenny or another label, they might they might love the track, but because of that, they might say, eh. Yeah, you don't want people not, to get know, the wrong idea. You you mm -hmm. want to express the hard stuff inside right. you. I just and you wanna, don't yeah. you know, you can take it out that way. Uh, I express in, the you know, hard stuff inside the track you is by doing great. this. See? With that lead, that, this, yeah. that this is killer. Yeah. Like that should that should have happened. After this, yes, totally. And then you know whatever you think, and then this. Okay. You you and then you, you win. Know? That's all you need yeah. to do. It's just that yeah. one part is should be the whole track. So it's it's back to the arrangement. Uh, okay. Yes, you know. I would say so. The sounds are. But great. other than that, you know, and even the vocal sample, I'm just putting that out there for you. Okay. I release some pretty fucked up shit, and yeah, I kind of yeah, you never know. All right, something definitely different, different vibe entirely now. Who is this one? Under Influence Apocalypse 2042. Okay. I already, I already uh, yeah, heard this look, one let's too. Let's let the people hear it. Go, yeah, go through. Oh. While we're listening to this, Lenny. Luminous Cloud is talking about the let your feet stomp. Speaking of, uh, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> it's that's that's all been cut. It's all can't been, find. It's, it's we we didn't cut. upload it. We haven't we haven't uploaded it. Interesting intro here. This is very sophisticated programming, I guess. Sounds really good in my headphones. It sounds big, but wide. I'd say. Let's say it sounds wide and lush. Could you go a little further? I heard this one as well. I do have comments for this one. Yeah, we know you got comments, Lenny.
This to me is kind of a new style, I would say. It's like a French hard tech. Okay, it has that very, it's like it? a very linear, very it's speedy. It's hypnotic so, and spacey. Yeah, it, ambient it's, almost, it's like with all they these call it intricate free beats. party. Yeah, definitely like, um, I forgot the name of the group, but. All right, I, I know uh, what's going on with I'm this hear one. I want to come back in. Good sound design. This is my favorite part. It's actually kicking now. It takes it takes a long time to get there. I mean, this is yeah, a five minute track, and it's a specific be good, style. Good in um, France. Um, I did feel the arrangement. Back to that. Okay. Um, it, it it's very hard to play. I really thought the sounds that you had going on could be a little bit better. Huh. Um, because the kick and everything is there, but it, it seems to be going, tuk, 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 and then you get all this big width and it mm. should have just maybe equaled out a bit louder. I, and it'd be very hard for someone to play that. I can tell you now. I mean, you, this um, again, it reminds me of like something that you listen to as, as in the background almost. It has that yeah, energy, it's but like the way French. it's mixed, it sounds more like hi-fi, like it's like chill, but it has yeah. all these intricate little beats. In a way, it's like almost like IDM kind of stuff in that way. Yeah. You know, it's... It, they, in France, <laughs> they play a lot of a lot of tracks like that. Mm -hmm. It's more, um, you know, it's like almost spiral tribe in a way. Sure. Uh, with all it's that psychedelic. Yeah, psychedelic. And well, I call it free party music because sure. in France, they do free parties and they play stuff like that. So if you're in that in that game, and, you're you're right up and there. You feel I just like felt this. mix at, it. At the party, this is how you feel. There's this uh, image that I'm showing that's very. Uh, <laughs> or yeah. you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> right there, you go. So all right, I I think, but you know, production skills high up there, definitely capable, interesting musical ideas. Um, I think arranging it's a it, it's also it's like if you're into this genre, they're probably in the ballpark for what is typical. Yeah, I think if you were yeah, trying to I'd... get this out to a wider audience, you probably want to tighten it up. A yeah, bit. And, then, and maybe put a I mix the, intro so you mix it and mm, then it breaks down as sure. opposed to breaking down mm. because you know when you're mixing techno or even hardcore especially more hardcore with the fest they the things are moving pretty quickly cool. so you want to be able to play it i mean unless you're doing like the free party the french sound i would still well, put an a, intro in it and place because they mix yeah, yeah. And, and that's it really good cool. deal let's do another one uh, this is paced by buoys. I heard this one too. Let's so jump I, in. Yeah. Paste. Wait, is there just that one yeah. voice? Bass. Yeah, bass. bass. There's those 16 notes again. It works. It does mix, work. Mix, mix, I got it in this remix good. too, so. Bass. I like the variation on the synth. That's good. Yeah. Just adding that one note made all the difference. I like the phaser sweeping up and down on that. This is good. Okay, bass. Fine. Right back in there. This is good. No, it's very good. Nice one. I like well, that. look, I thought the track was great. I did feel some of the vocals were either a little bit loud or a little bit low, but you know, I'll be honest with you, it, really hearing it again, it, it, yeah. it's really okay. I love Maybe, it. Earlier, I like the vocals are too low. Now we're like, the vocals are too loud. I'm like, where is so, it, Lenny? Where yeah, is it? It's kind depends of in the there. Yeah, it depends on you know what's going on at the moment. Uh, but no, I think it, when that first break, the the vocals in there, I mean, you could just separate these, these kind of movie samples. Mm -hmm. you, you might want to go and 
kind of like get rid of whatever's going on in them like especially if sure. they got noise and it, it kind of makes them feel a little bit more muffled well, than the male you... voice was muffled it was hard to understand what it was yeah saying. yeah you know, the, the female yeah. saying bass is very clear i yeah, thought maybe that was clear you don't need to repeat it as much if you're just gonna yeah. say one word say it once at the right you moment know? You don't, it's like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I say that as a person who makes tracks with one word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 99.9. You got me, you got me. That one doesn't Uh, shut up. That one doesn't doesn't (laughs) shut up, but. But then I use it like a a drum loop. It's just like a part of the hypnotic thing, right? Totally. Like, you know, you had it once and then you did it twice and then there's a space. You know, if you're going to use some vocals, try to use them in turnarounds or when things are going on a little too much and I you want generally it is, but you know, like, uh, yeah, it, it is. That was a great track. Line, I, it, I, I, I overall, didn't think that I was think the, the, the kick and the bass, the whole groove of it is, mm-hmm. is what's working the most and is what's going to keep people dancing. If a DJ plays this, right. So it's yes, got perfect. that, which is already up on a lot of people out there trying to do this. So let's move yeah. along. We've got Raptor 10 by yeah. Raptor. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. I think I know I heard this one for. too. Wait, I gotta do it. This is like, it's so crazy. Ah! All right, we're jumping in. Break beats. This is half seizure music. This is <laughs> bleeps. Yeah, I, I heard this track as well. Different track now. Crazy. I heard this one already. Yeah, this one's it's good. It's high level production. They're really good at what they're doing. Interesting lead. Something, something's wrong. This, <laughs> something's wrong in my head right now. I gotta say, I gotta be honest, funny. And I don't think, I don't think it's just that, okay. that, that we're old men now. But this is uh, really hard to listen to after about a minute. It's like, well, it's well, good. For me, I'm, not, I'm not dissing it, but man, for me, it's perfect. The, you know, uh, here's the, <laughs> here's, here's the problem. You gotta get the intro going on because, the like, I, I mix that stuff, and and you're starting you, out. I see. Like, so, like, wait, get it. You gotta, yeah. Even start with the pro, 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 and then go because when you're mixing these tracks you need at least 16 bars like literally and especially with a hardcore like they mm-hmm. only they give you that one section and if you got too much stuff coming in on it it just makes it disjointed and i remember this track at the end you got a lot of these synths and everything going on and going on and going on but this it's got to end sooner than you have it and there needs to be a way to mix out if you're going to make this style of hardcore which i do play mm. uh in my sets not the whole whole entire set but i loved it you know the production's good the kick drum's good just fix the beginning and the end i mean all you got to do is just listen to some stuff from holland i don't want to be stereotypical about it but you know you can hear that it starts with the top so you don't have to worry about it because yeah. that's not going to be on Beatport anyway, you know, unless right. you have the pro thing. Just, so, you're just talking about the practical, like, mix mixing in, for the in DJ. and out. Yeah, and so mix start out. with just the kick or a simple beat. Yeah, and you I mean, could be you already have about it. it. You could, I mean, these guys know how to do editing and automation and all sorts of crazy sound yeah. design. They could make a DJ mix in that sounds cool too. Like, it's simple enough yeah. to mix just, in, but interesting just, enough for the listener to go, oh, cool, you know? Totally. Because you're not, they're not going to hear that that's like a right. dj record you yeah. want them to play it mm-hmm. and they will play it definitely just at the end when you had all those synths figure right. out a way to wind it down so when you're mixing i mean okay. the track doesn't need to be 18 minutes long you just put a little bit of an intro before your track even starts so you have that duh, 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 and then duh, 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 okay. duh, and then at the end when you got all the wrists maybe do a simple synth breakdown and pop it into the mix so, so you can they, mix they out. submitted two. I, I I meant to close this. No, no, it, it's it's fine. Let's no, go no, to we, the next one. We're gonna go on. If you want to listen to another one of their tracks, it's on the Discord. Let's move on to. Uh, okay. Yep. This is a different. Uh, 
This is Raptor. This is Razor R. Dr. Razor R, yeah. Beats. Yes. Paging Dr. Beat. Emergency. Emergency. Paging Dr. Beat. This is funny. Yeah, <laughs> totally. The mix is good. The mix sounds like a pop record. Yeah. I, all right, we got to jump in a little bit. Yeah, jump in. I know. Wait, I what, heard this what? track. I'm confused a little. I mean, I know what's happening. I, I'm not really confused. That's to the beat. That, na, 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 na. That's a famous that, 80s yeah, track, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gloria Estefan, maybe? One of those? Like Miami Sound Machine, maybe? Miami Sound Machine, right? Wait a minute. Gloria Estefan, Dr. B. Yeah, yeah, Dr. B, yeah, that's it. So, this is Could a go fun, a little it's further. a little silly, it's a fun rave record, right? A little Wait, commercial. there's one section. Hold on. Hold on to what? <laughs> Wait, I, there's one section that I wanted to point out to him. Oh, okay. Uh, if you go a little further, I don't want to skip it. Is it here? Wait, wait. Okay, well, I've heard it. I know what's in it. I don't know where it is. Oh, maybe in here. This reminds me of like 80s Dutch Euro dance. That's what okay. This is. <laughs> I, I got I got you on this. The track um, the track sounds nice. I mean the mixing is for pro. my it's the pro production my, is professional in this. Right? But my my taste it's a little too quirky for me. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and I did notice there was some latency going on. I don't know if you kind of did that. Do you mean just some to, timing to issues with the groove? Is what you're saying? Some yeah, drums being a little early or late, was, or things being some yeah. sample being a little late. Yeah. When, when I listened to it on the actual iMac itself, I noticed it more huh. than than here. Okay. But there was all it was only in a small part, maybe a little bit halfway in. Yeah. And with that, 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 that uh, the sound of everything is really quite good, actually. And you have it's a really fun track. Just yeah. for my taste personally. It's a little too quirky, but well, it's quirky and it's me. also on the border yeah. of like commercial. Like, yeah, I like the doc, 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 the beat. Got that, that because doc, it's doc, taking a famous pop tune from the eighties yeah. and re, 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 yeah. reusing it. I think yeah. even well, if you're even replaying as a, it, so that's like, that's a really good thing instead of just ripping it off. Sure. Even though that doc, 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 the beat. Yeah, that, 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 I, I used to play the original. I don't think you I'm need showing to have my it repeat the vocal that much. Yeah. It's it's a bit overbearing because you get it. I got it right. It's it's yeah. cute and it, it it's fun. It's a party record. This could really make certain parties go off. Um, yeah, probably it's good for not one happy anyone hardcore. would ask me to DJ at, but like no. it, could, it could work. <laughs> well, you can do some happy hardcore sure, in yeah. that range. So you you know it's all good. You you know you did a good job. Just I I kind of felt that it could maybe really. Uh, have a hook that's a little bit more driving instead of that, 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 that. You have all mm -hmm. that music. Maybe bring a little bit of that out as more of a focus point, and then you go back into the dot, 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 dot. You know what I mean? As Got opposed it. to, could be a little less linear in I'm, that regard. I'm looking but, through some of these remaining tracks. There's still a bunch. We're going to get through as many as we can. I just want to make there sure was, that we do. Do you see the lose. one with the guy, the guy with the gun? Black and white. He's got uh, I like will. A I just like there's um, that one. I really like. This Cali C. You're here in the in the in the chat. You you submitted more than one, and I I have two of them here. Oh, hold on. Is that the one that's brown acid and well, something no, else? No, there's this uh, Buster Nut Scoozy DJ Cali C remix, and then there's uh, DJ Bathtub. Boom yes, boom. DJ Bathtub. Should okay. We, you want to listen to that one? Um. Oh, uh, hold on. I, I made notes on these. Well, if you made notes uh, on it, we're listening to it. Let's just keep pushing yeah. forward.
Okay. That's a kick drum, Lenny. Yeah, 909. You could go a little further. I could tell you exactly what what I'm hearing. Yeah. Back into the beats again. Some acid. Uh, Let's jump in a little bit more. I I, okay. I could. I, I, cause I heard this one already as well. Let's let him All right, it, it really needs more focus. And I think right. you're, you're choosing some sounds that, you, you know, you got such a great acid. You got that little vocal that you kind of buried. And I, I would kind of stay away from that. And there's a couple, there's like the a couple of note, like, notes. Doo, 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 yeah. That's kind when of takes you, it down a lot. Like it takes it down a lot. And you know, it, you, you're getting started and then it breaks down and you get started and you know, you mm. need to like, Get it going into that acid as opposed to brrr, you could put that kind of more later on when you want to get a better breakdown. But to have all of it too much in the beginning, it, it makes it kind of hard to hard to play. And, you know, other than that, you know, you, you know, the mix is pretty OK, but burying the vocal, not doing enough of the acid. It just back to the arrangement again. I know when people mm -hmm. are starting out, that's. It, it, it's the most important thing because if even if it's sure, not mixed good, you can drive it a if bit you're better. Just starting out with this, if you're on the earlier side of figuring out the arrangement moves and things like that, spend some time listening and analyzing, like pick tracks that you think are awesome by producers that you were really into and map them out. Like how many bars are their breaks? How many bars are the main sections? Yes. How long, you know, and not to copy their music, copy their structure. Yeah, that, Make, that's write what your I tell. Track around the structure of a track you know is top shelf. Yes, and and you know what you got to listen to is you have to be looking at it as all drums, all fucking synths, all vocals, not just like this. Right, those are in, right. those are internal things, unless you know because you're doing a drum mix, so you want to be able to build it up. But you know, you always think, okay, where did this, what did this guy? actually do mm. well he put a bass here then he put his hi-hat later and then just map it out uh yeah. i'll be honest with you it's the best way to learn but also right. don't get don't get caught up in the in the trap where you start to sound formulated you know you use That's it in the, the trick, beginning like, but you know when you're just starting out you, you you start by copying what you hear yeah, and then you figure yeah, out yeah. how to do it your own way and then yes, do something yes. different so here's yes, the one yes. you're just talking about i think this is a destro 187 jack move yeah, I think it's the guy with the gun, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. L looks like a particular uh, version of a disintegrator record, I remember. Yeah, it's it's actually <laughs> quite good, actually. All right. Yeah. A little slower, a little different. Interesting. Not your typical sounds, right? No, very good. That's I like why that. I was attracted to it. It had a very big room. Can move it ahead a bit more, but let let them hear more of it. Different. Really cool. Really good. I think that's pretty much most of it, right? Yeah, it, it does the more. It's just in, arranging those elements back and forth. So. Yeah, so, I yeah. I love it. I love it. You know, nice. you, you know, it's so different. It's big room. 
the, the samples are all put together well. It's definitely a winner because it sounds unique. And when I main Rring, if I can find something that's unique in yeah. its own way, sure. it, it, it really will go a longer way than maybe something that's trying to like be like something else and i didn't really hear this i like the mumba tone kind of beat and mm. the it, it's just savage it really does sound sound great i didn't really have any problem mixing arrangement really? you know yeah it, it was good you know um, i'd be curious to hear how this translates on a big pa yeah well the, i was listening to it on the headphones and on my imac test number one mm. and it, and it sounded You're have really to take it over to those fancy very expensive master yes, speakers behind yes 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 <laughs> and see. that's what we're gonna do uh oh, right. when we're done so i can give you guys um the number one number two because you know listening in the All headphones right. and this and there's so many tracks i want to be able to okay really go let's through them actually all. All right. I, let that. Having said that, we kind of have to think about how we're gonna uh, bring this home. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen potential more tracks. And if we're spending two or three minutes per track, that's already us past the. Uh, it's already almost one forty right now. So let me just say, um, as um, far as was... I think what what I'm thinking based on what you just said is we, we may have to like do the winners off the air. Yeah, I, I would look, have I want to like reach I wanna out give, to, I, not, not to leave everybody yeah. hanging. I was hoping that we would be able to like get to it, but I, I just based on the number of tracks we've had coming in and also to have Lenny really give the serious focused consideration yeah. to decide, you know, yeah, based, he's going to listen in his studio on his amazing speakers and like not, you know, feeling the pressure of being live on the air. <laughs> yeah, well, be a little better, well, right? you know, I want to give you guys the same exact respect and the same exact thing that I do for any other artist because, you know, I can give you notes without hearing everything, but I would love to have that time, know what the track is and be able to tell John these are the ones in order to That's do cool. it. I I will do it by by tonight, tomorrow. Yeah, you'll well, have and the we'll, answer. Uh, we'll announce it on the Discord. Yes, I and you know, John be... will showcase the tracks, I guess, so they know which the other people know which ones were picked. Though I don't know how John wants to do it, but I just want to be fair to everybody because I I love new tracks, I love new artists, uh -huh. and and a lot of labels just don't give them enough time. No, you're really listening. To That's really great. It. Yeah. So, and, and you know, you guys have come up with some really great stuff and this, you know, keep, just keep, look good. at the negativity as positivity because, you know, <laughs> constructive you, criticism. You know, yeah, well, I get it all the time. It's like, all right. boom. Let's all right. go, let's go, let's go. Next one. Prisoner Woo! by Get Gat Terror or Get Terror. Oh, Get Terror. This one's pretty, I, I've heard this pretty one, crazy. yeah. Pretty crazy. Is this the one with the, the video? No. Okay. A break or variation of the basic bongo pattern may accent clave. Play the first three measures of pattern. Then on the end beat after beat three, slide the left hand back and make a rim shot, making sure to get the left thumb ready to follow beat four. Go a little head. I heard this one too. Yeah, but we have it. Woo! Go a little more. Okay. I could I could tell you now. Right. I, I I did hear this. I did hear this track. All right. Okay. Whoa, oh, I just wanted to get to this because it does get to this. Whoa! Good lord, that's intense. Okay. Okay. Because we got not that much time. Wow. Um, okay, that is... mix needs to be better. Oh, uh, this, okay, yeah, I mean, I was going to say, though, the energy of this and, like, 
the 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 mix needs to the, be better. The vibe of it and the, the you know it's and great. the vocals. Some it's of them really are a little too loud. You feel uh, emotion in this, right? You know, it, it reminds me of Nazim huh. You know, like some of the the vocals with that really fast. It's just a balance issue, really. So uh, yeah, like, like the bass. If you're making things fast, you know, and I mm -hmm. think if the crazy programming that you have on, it it just seems to get lost because it's like does, this a little yeah, linear like it's it's i mean i know that's also a thing like this loud everything saturated compressed and yeah pushed, but i it mean would, it, it could hit harder if it was more dynamic and more open yeah and maybe you drop drop a little of the bass out i mm. these kind of tracks to be honest with you when they're fast you get less just, bass and it when you're comes slow like a, you and get it becomes more. like a hum it's not like a boom boom pulse it's like yeah a, yeah it's just a mixed thing just try to take off some of the plugins do a quick rebalance Interesting. um okay. and get and give it a shot and like the the speedy vocals they could go up higher and the spoken vocals could go down a little so you 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 get more energy when you're starting to kick it in as opposed to oh, then, then yeah, straight and then you know it, it i think it's just a mixed thing and a, and some effects try to use less of uh, a reverb on this on the fast vocals that come later they're okay. already going fast enough yeah. and it seems to be buried it, a mixed thing uh, okay like i said you know maybe the pre-delay is a little bit much uh, like you didn't really set that, so Let, it's all. Let's keep reverb. pressing forward. You've got really Next. detailed notes for this person, yeah. which is great. Uh, but man, no, it's great. Next you one. Go for it. This is the one with the video. Yes. This is absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. Off the chain. Love it. I, if I understood French, don't have to though. You don't have to. It's, it's going to be fucked up anyway. I, I love French. I just. No parlez vous français. Oh my. Ay, ay, ay. Right? You've seen the video, right? It's fucking oh, pretty. <laughs> it's It's got it. I mean, if you want to go a little bit further, um, but it just, it's a constant change. It yeah. never kicks in it, or it teases you. It's always teasing you. Well, that's you, with your head. Do, do you know if you want to, I could tell you about it, right? He, aye, aye, aye. He, I mean, here's amazing. the thing. Look, it's amazing. The video and that track are as one the, yeah, yeah. The, uh, everyone Absolutely. isn't it's, seeing it's a, that video it's a piece of art. um and it, yes it's a piece of art and it's amazing if <laughs> you take the video away it mm. could be very disjointed and you could lose a lot by putting that on maybe at the wrong time maybe you start with it but the video the music as one yeah very good it's um super original if you if you take that away and you want to make an audio version trim it all down get to the meat a little make it like well, two and a half this? minutes this is, it's like seven minutes long yeah and, and you know that's the thing so with the video and seven minutes you're you're you're, you're watching it but yeah. when you're actually going to play it make it short get to some of the parts faster so people could actually move to it and if you don't want to do it you did an amazing job with the video in that and i totally get it you know and as a I creative would love projects like dj that. i might like play part of this yeah you can use like it like an intro, an intro. A, a thing in the middle of your set where you make everybody go crazy and then you go back into the banging beats after it like definitely it's, definitely it's, it, it's useful as is you don't you know as, and it's you know i'm yeah we're not saying you gotta like change your music to fit the dj a good dj should be able to use it as it is in a creative way yes uh, i just think it's yeah. a video project and i'll be honest with you as a label guy i actually love that stuff oh right um you, you, you know it's like there's something to be said mm -hmm. uh, about that kind of you know kind of track and production because you have the video everything moves around it mm -hmm. looks really original That's um cool. and yeah and it's cool and it's cool but if i was sending that to a label uh, if i was you make some track tracks yeah, so because they because they can't sell your video on itunes or get remixes yeah or get, get a remixes. couple of guys that do dance floor stuff to take your elements you know and focus it just for that anyway yeah, let's keep moving be, forward yeah you gotta, let's go 
50 FT 50 foot woman. 50 yeah. Foot woman. <laughs> 50 foot woman. There we go. So amen for you. Gotta be from the movie, right? I think so. I, I, I'm i trying to, re I don't remember what they said, but I do remember. Is it the 100 foot woman or? She drove into a nightmare of horror and saw descending from the sky a titanic monster whose fearsome touch became a frightful curse. <laughs> You gotta let it kick in, right? Attack of the 50 foot woman. I like what that kick drum's doing. Yeah. It's not it's the, not square four four. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's not it's typical. Got a groove to it. Break break beat a little bit. I listen to this one too. This part. It's just, it's very movie soundtrack, right? It's like, I think they sample yeah. parts of the movie soundtrack. Definitely. Right? The, the I think so. Or whatever. But that's the 50 foot woman. All right. I, I could, I could go into this one. Look, yeah. nice ideas for sure. Definitely. Needs a way better arrangement. You got to mm. kind of move it around and the mix needs to be better. Uh, so you, that you part can where, have where, that. where the beat first kicks in. Seems to be getting great. lost. And there's no strings, there's no other sounds, it's just the bass and the breaks. This is amazing. So I think like more of that and then alternate that with parts where there's the other things and then go back yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. It, it's great ideas. It just seems to me they're a little bit muffled in there and mm. it needs, needs to so come out a bit more. Should be opening it up a little bit. Yeah, like some of the vocals are a little reduced and then it's all, you know, it's all sonically the way I think you wanted it. Yeah. But I just think you need to maybe spend another couple cool. of hours on bringing things in and out a little yeah, bit but cool. other than that it's a great it's, it's a great I mean, crazy concept oh yeah it's perfect it's like it's funny it's a it's, it's a 50 club, foot club woman radio. i remember i'll remember that track no matter what all right now we, got, now we got the uh, we're all gonna die by the void okay I feel like I'm getting a nail between the eyes right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is my, I mean, ah. <laughs> uh, break. Good. I like the bass melody. You can move it up. I heard this one too. Well, I want to hear it kick back in. And that always makes or breaks the track sometimes. Is how they come back from this. Come on! <laughs> it keeps going. I had to skip over that. This is where it goes. Oh my gosh. Lenny. Okay. I don't know what to say. I, I, I got something for you here. Um, <laughs> I, I dig it. About this track. I think it's that kick drum. There's just that little. Chirp, 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 yeah. Chirp. It's yeah. Just driving that's driving me insane. Totally. Uh, look, the vocals are a little bit low. Uh, they, and the guy's screaming, we're all going to die. I, 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 I would save those little <laughs> ee, 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 vocals for a little bit later you're too, uh, and you're let too them serious, get into Lenny. the mix. You're so just right into the, like, you oh, know, I'm like losing it over here. And you're well, like, well, you know, it just, just needs that little bit of focus with the vocals. I think the I rest is quite like I need insanity. A little bit of focus after this. Yeah, yeah totally. Maybe a little vodka <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> you know, I don't even drink vodka, so I'm just putting it out there. Uh, Again, good work. 
I need see more how bass, the, man. See how the I vocals think I get could this. go up I get a little. It. Yeah, you're right. In the mix, there's certain things that are buried. And it, you're buried, yeah. The kick being all high end, and like I know that's a style. That's like yeah, the thing definitely. now. That yeah, these it kick is drums thing, are not for sure. bass drums anymore. They're like yeah. poke Pikey a stick things. in your eye. Yeah, like beep, 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 beep. I guess you know what they call them? They call them zog kicks. Zog kicks. Of course they go zog, 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 zog. But this one doesn't even go zog, zog, zog. <laughs> no, zog. no, it's it's <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 not it's not an up tempo track. So Dude. don't worry if if you're thinking that. But no, the I vocals would, are a little I bit like buried. It. I like it. You know? I just wish it had more thump underneath yeah. it to balance it out. To me, it was the uh, was the vocals were a little bit loud? They mm. came in a little too soon. Yeah. Again, when you're making this kind of hard stuff. You need to keep that intro a little bit sparser because when you put that in, the next record might have something coming out or it's very sparse and you want to hear the transition. With yeah. hardcore music, that's a pretty big thing. And that's how you get the energy in and out from record to record. Okay. Next one. Here, Here we, we go. go. Is this Buckaroo? This is Contagion. Okay, yes. Buckaroo, DJ Buckaroo. I, I heard this one, Contagion yeah. Contagion 896. I heard this one. The Pacifist. Wow, this is yes. another video. Yes, I was going to. Uh, it's actually a crazy video. Oh boy! Oh no! Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know they can't uh, visualize it because they don't see it. But... Oh, everybody's seeing this. Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay, even better. I'm playing back the YouTube video. Uh, they know all what's right, going there on. you go. All right, good deal. Oh my god. It's crazy. Ooh. Spooky. It is. Does it kick <laughs> in eventually? I I don't I, when remember. I, earlier I said I was disquieted. Now I'm like beyond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it comes. Lenny, we're going to have to go past 2 o'clock. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I'm waiting. Okay. Can you, should I move in a little bit, or am I going to yeah, miss something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. See the guy going like this, uh, the little yeah, right. monsters and stuff is great. They're starting to move. This is fun. I, I heard it already. That's it. Yeah. I was wondering, is okay. it going to kick in again? Like, at Amazing. actually drop in? I, where's it, the bass in this music, Lenny? You, you know, like, this is the thing. Because it's a video Again, with music, same thing, right? Same thing. You can't really say it's good or bad in any way because it's I you're still matching want bass. It. I, okay, I think you know, this it is could have very more creative. Bass, yes. It's another piece of art. It's unique, yeah. interesting, different sounds. It's coming yes. out. Of, it's not like hardcore rave dance floor music. Yes. It's like a vibe, you know? It's, you know, it's better to watch than to yeah. play. But like, so if, if you're all they shopping had to do this, was put in a sub underneath that kick and people you know, would dance to it. That's You know, it. It, it, if you want to shop this around... And this also goes to the other guy with the video. Sorry, old girl. I'm sorry. Um, you got to shop it like that and yeah, say, it's this is my album. Mm -hmm. Here's the videos. You know, you can do shorter videos. And a label, especially mine, I would appreciate that. Mm. Um, you know, where, okay, we release it on YouTube, but we would still need to need, have audio to yeah, sell right. unless it's total video project, you know? Yeah. So when you're sending it out, you, you know, for me, we did a couple of albums coming up where there's loads of videos and mm -hmm. things like that. I'm working on an ambient release, which is going to be kind of all video and, but the music you'll be able to play. 
All, All right. right, let's go next yeah, one. Um, that's the that's that's the the, the Grammy Awards uh, telling you to shut up, Lenny. Yeah, <laughs> is that the, is music? this the, is this zero 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 kind of uh, war it? war three hundred three is what we're checking out here. Okay. Interesting intro. That. Hmm. Cool. Tricky. Is this the one that's ten minutes? Uh. Yes, we're not gonna listen to this for ten minutes. No. Cool sounds. Yeah. A lot of good ideas in here, right? Yeah. Good mix. Is this more like? This is like French sounding. French stuff. Yeah, it sounds like the. Okay. It's like hardcore we... side trance in a way. For... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's you like... know what it is? It's just way too long. Yeah. Um. Uh, as an A and R guy, if you were gonna make a ten minute track and send it to me, it needs to be epic. Like mm. we we release Zenith and Mechanism, and if you listen to those, and they're like ten minute, twenty minute tracks, but you never get bored. It's always evolving and slowly churning. Where I feel for this kind of track, you might want to just get to the point, you know. Okay. Um, and I think you sent two, right. uh, and, just and the other one. one is yeah. The old, the other one was a little long too. It was very okay. strange. Mm -hmm. I felt because it's so long, you lost the focus. If you're going to sell it as a digital file. Got it. Okay. Or you might just, that's, if you're playing live at the party and that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. Yeah. If you're doing a live show, like free party sound and you're doing everything with your stuff. Awesome. That's what yeah. you really, it's they want to see. It's yeah. that sound. They're nailing that sound. It's well produced. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Here we go. So techno by Mr. Chips. Yes. All right. Jump in a little bit. our break did you listen to this one before lenny yes okay it's about five if minutes you if you want to move it around melodic vocal sample yeah let's hear the break come the uh, the drop come back yeah Yeah. If you want to move it ahead, let them hear more. I already have my comments. Okay. There's some okay. good stuff in there. I mean, the, atmosphere, the, it's energy. Bit, the mix needs to be better, right? It's, uh, it's, for, mud, it's, it's mushy, cloudy. Yeah, and the resonant. vocal that you have in there, there is no reason to hide that mm. whatsoever. And that seems like a, a zenith point. It's got a great vibe. It could cross because this trancey techno is, you know, it's kind of happening at the moment. Nothing's changed with that style. Uh, you just need to mix it up, make it a lot cleaner and right. tighter because There's, this stuff, you are, your competition is it's it's really the bar well, is yeah, high. Yeah, the yeah. bar is very high mm -hmm. and it's very minimalistic. So you, you just probably have a little too much reverb. The, you lost track a little on the mix. Too much compression. Um, too much compression. Probably if you got, EQing, the, especially in the mid-range EQing phase, mid -range, so they're not it's, it's uh, like covering each old, other up. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, you, you know... Um, stuff going on where you mm. get you're not getting enough out of uh out of right. the out of the cool. track itself all right dj asylum sin one greed okay i think i know this one Yeah. 
straight up. I mean, distorted kick drum, acid. Straight up. I heard the, all these from here on in. There's a little hi-hat in there. You can barely hear it, but it's there. Yeah. All right. All Crazy right. Crazy noises. Break. Get break. Evil. Ominous. We're going to come back, and then we'll uh, get your comments. Whoa, double kick drum. Quite a crit. I mean, it gets to a peak there, right? Yes, it That reminds goes. me of something Oliver and I would have done way in the beginning. Where yeah, the end woo! of the track is just too crazy. Well, Oliver was doing that without making music, so, uh, yeah, you know, that's yeah, right. that's right. Well, look, Asylum, Acid stuff's great. The arrangement is cool. I'm just a little bit in that in the mix. John's right that the hi hats need to come out a bit more. You could have a little um, more sub in there, a little deeper a little bass bit more. In there. Uh, you know, just a little bit more of the the, the high end. You know, the acid, the the resonance is very high. Um, it, it's not bad, but because you don't have the hi hats so loud, it kind of mm -hmm. they kind of conflict. You might want to put soothe soothe two on that just a little bit to bring the resonance down so mm. you can hear it or, or just make a little bit of automation you yeah. know because some of the other drums need to come out i going okay. into the speed stuff and yeah it's a good uh old school sounding track i, yeah. I think it's good just needs a little, that was just talking about how they wanted pepper. to hear more like drop bass network style kind of more old school yeah which yeah. Is, this is a little more like that it's just more stripped down distorted yeah. drums acid yeah it's That's, just so a bit could, of a you know, it's just a bit of a balance issue, really, yeah. in some of the places. Yeah, it, it's like this not one much. is a good track. It's just the mix could a better mix yeah. will make it work. You know, li that much listen more. to it in mono and listen mm. to it really low, and then you'll be able to hear what you're what you don't hear. If you know right. what I mean. When it's, when it's loud, you might you might think it sounds great, but you know there has to be a balance with cool. the other instruments. All right, there's another ill-fated track, so that that's a double. We'll we'll move on from that one. We heard from him before, or uh -huh. them from before. Uh, and now we've got Hadal Zone nine eight seven two three. Yep, I Alrighty. heard this one too. So we're good. See, this is an example of like a mixable, musically interesting intro. Yeah, totally. You got to remember, there's going to be a lot on, especially if you're playing. You know what I mean? You get, it, it, it's good. And like, if it's long, don't worry. No one's going to hear that. It, but it's for the DJ, Will. There we go. That's like the cleanest kick drum I've heard out of all of them. Yeah, it's all really of them, clean, yeah. right? It's transparent almost. It's good. So like, not it's not like a dirty hardcore kick. It's like a clean, no, it's punchy, a good bassy techno. Kick. I, like, I like it. Nice atmosphere. It's really nice mix. Sounds spacious, but not too washed out. I like simple. I just love it. Just that one drone is pulsing coming yeah. in. It's really good. All right, let's hear what the break does. I'll let it ride. Okay. Okay, I could tell you right now. Do it. Very cool track. Yeah. Drums are great. I just felt some of those noises could be up a little. Don't be afraid huh. to push them because okay. that's going to be your thing. Ying. You just you want to sonically just feel. I mean, it's not that so, low, but just no, it, bring, it the, loud, bring up but, the you know, whole here's part. Here's an interesting thing. This is because the kick is so driving. So, you have enough room to this to mix juice is it. very great track. clean. Would yeah. you agree? I almost Very wish clean. it had a little bit of dirt in it, that it was a little yeah. more saturated well, and crunchy. That, that little sin sound could be your dirt. 
Yeah. Because, you know, in the break, it's kind of moving. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. And then you got this big fucking banging drum. And that yeah. it's kind of like a drone techno. It's goes, right. it starts getting louder and louder. And you can really juice up the track. I mean, it doesn't need to be fucking louder than everything else it just needs that little bit of balance but even that if you ran it isn't that a, it isn't synth, a, that drone it's not bright, a deal breaker you know you it's not a deal breaker you know thing like just get yeah if, if you were to run that as it is into like an interesting distortion plugin and just gradually make it a little more broken up and dirty and bright that you, would you be know a what, lot you, you know what i do for most of this stuff i get i find the, the peak uh, where it's going to be. Uh -huh. And then instead of using compression or anything like that, I just move the fader like this. Yeah, yeah. That works so too. when you hear, rrr, rrr, okay. but very, very subtle. And it will trick your ear mm -hmm. into thinking every time it turns around, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to be kind of into it. But it, it's not a deal breaker that it's a little low. I, I just wish it was a little loud. This way the zenith point becomes a bit more. But flawless track other than that. And yeah. it's really... a a choice you know exactly m more so than than a, a must do lenny we got three more we might as well let's just power do it. through them it's only just a power bit through them baby power Alrighty. through them eat my mom and dad yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one i already heard and it's fucking badass oh boy here we go with an intro like that yeah you're starting your set with this it's like a machine uh, sounds like an alien. I like this halftime fight. I think they, I, they did it. They did it. Oh my god. Okay, what else? Okay. Go towards the end a little. Yeah. It's definitely like new school, old school. Yeah, you know definitely. I, mean? I like this one. <laughs> okay, I got you. Go, go more towards the end, because I have some notes to that. Where, where in the end? Where? Like, towards the end. end. Yeah. Okay, that's it, that's it. I got you. What? Sounds great. It sounds like Roughneck. Yeah. Uh, I know. I know Patrick will probably love it because mm. it's it got that same feeling. Um, the, the the volume, everything is really pro. Um, I think the end was a bit much and needs a mix out. I think it's a little synth, messy in the end with that synth. Yeah, right? when you start to go, blah, 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 you, you gotta like realize that when it's that loud, you know, maybe just doing it, then it, then it, you get more, like and then when the and then when the kick comes in in section, you can go give it a little bit more at the end. Um, yeah, and the mix, uh, the stuff in the beginning, that big fucking cinematic fucking Dude, kind of machine the, sound. The, the, and the alarm. Amazing. I mean, good gosh. But the only problem I have with it is you put that little vocal in and the transition between that amazing sound and the vocal, you might have just went... You know what I mean? Oh, so not don't make it. Yeah, don't make it like Separation. a blob. Yeah, you need okay. to separate it a bit more. Um, and, and really, that's it. Just check your mix output, uh, your mix out, and work on that synth a little. Maybe I felt when I list, first listened to it, it might have been going on a little too long. So mm. because it's just like, wow, what's this now? You know, you have that all the sound you know you have a lot of stuff so you might want to okay kind of still sparse it out but still the, one of the better hardcore tracks from yeah, today yeah very for sure. very good gabber good gabber good gabber <laughs>
<laughs> See, I didn't put Gabber in the title of the the show. Maybe if I had, we would. Oh uh, no! Well, you like know, that. it's 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 trendy yeah. uh, at the moment. It's fashionable, and hey, look, the shit still sounds good. Oh, uh, yes. y- you know, it, it just has that '90s feeling, and and I appreciate that. You know, so all good. Okay. Which we one's this? Call me contour. Yeah. All right. Didn't hear you shuffling your papers around. More in it, back into the techno realm for sure. Yeah. Acid, hard, acid techno. Lots of bass, spacey. It's good too. You can go further. I already heard this one too a little bit. All right. Okay. See where it goes. Yeah. Atmospheric, vocal. Okay. Here we go. Woo! You like this part? Yeah. Kind of just surprises you. Surprises are always good, especially on holidays. I like that break with the weird time stretch vocal in the middle and then the repeating the vocal in the background like percussion thing is cool. It's a good track. Okay. Just uh, I I can tell you what what, what I would say, but you go ahead. Quickly, I think it um, that little you should just wait. Let your drums kick for a little bit and then there's like a little turnaround. Maybe then bring it in Mm -hmm. and then it'll help you get well, it'll it'll make you think that you're getting to the break sooner because yeah. when you're mixing, you, like I said, I'm always a big fan of nothing because <laughs> I already know when you play it. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I'm a, I hate when I'm listening to A&R and I don't like to do that to, to producers, but there's sometimes, and that's not a deal breaker, by mm. the way. I just think the high end could be a little bit more. I overall. wanted this track to be a little more energetic in the highs. More sure. energetic, yeah. Mm. Other than that, I mean, you know, the just mix is a bit dark, and and that's yeah. that, that's a vibe, but also you want it to really cut through on a sound yeah. system, and it's, it's, this is going to sound muffled on a big system, probably. Yeah, like you're missing some of the highs and the high hats, and like I said, that little thing in the beginning isn't a deal breaker, but look at that that second little skip drop and then bring yeah. it in and then the hi-hats could be a little bit more focused you're, you're tricking your ear to keep listening to it and tracks being dark is very hard for people to you mm-hmm. know i mean unless it's in a huge sound system but even still yeah. the other records you might be playing are not going to be that dark they they got to have a little bit more high end all uh, right this is our last percussion. track lenny we made okay it. we, we made did it. it this is uh Datrin out of sight power. Okay, I had this one too. Down in the beat. Lost in the darkness. Demons are mine. Okay. Move to the right of the night. Down it's only a minute beat. 41. <laughs> yeah, that was part Lost of my. Uh, I mean, we could probably even squeeze one more Demons if we go through this one really quick. Oh, interesting. Really wide mix. Let's yeah. turn that up a little bit, I think. I realize we set the, vo- vo- the volume a little bit low for a while. Yeah, Sorry. well, that's good. Get ready for mastering. Yeah, good, good one. Okay. Okay. I, I can I mean, tell you. I, this must be like a clip of the track because this isn't yeah. the whole track. Yeah. No, number one. Okay. Number one thing. Never yeah. send a short track like that. Uh. <laughs> because he, here's what's going to happen. 
I'm only going to ask you for the full version. Uh -huh. And if, if, if I get too much distance from it, it's not good for an A&R guy to hear a clip because you're not, I'll say it straight with business. You're not selling clips. You're selling music yeah. and tracks, right? But other than that, That's a good track. The, the ideas are great. It could be just mixed a little better, but it's very hard to tell because maybe it's not finished. Hmm. It, it's just the shortness. But I would have to say track is good. Everything is there. Maybe the vocal could be a little defined, a little better, but the ideas are great. And that means more to me than mm -hmm. the things I've just said, other than yeah. the, the time. You know, you would really should get a full track together on both ends. And, and it could still be short, but once again, that's a little too short. Actually, well, yeah, I, 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 that looked like that was but like a preview. Track. That good. was like a preview clip preview. for a full EP. Yeah. That wasn't even the yeah. full demo. So yeah, but that's yeah. fine because so you, you know no, it's the end fine. of the show. It was the last track. I yes, mean, maybe a, yes. I, I feel like I kind of wish that the um, that what what was that other crazy track that was really good the. The, the the hard oh eat my mom and dad like that yeah <laughs> that would have been a good end one you know well <laughs> I got one thing for um Hind Pez Hind Pez uh that was a nice video I just felt that the the drums which, which, weren't which there one's that? it's an acid track I believe it's uh the one after uh, I don't know it's Hind Perez he did a video so I wanted to mention that okay uh and you so know if, I, the if acid some, if there's some ones that we didn't that we skipped by accident or well this one i said i wanted to just say because it's a video you did take the time for that i just felt the acid everything was disgusting and i love disgusting but i lost the drums in there somewhere so maybe your mix needs to have a little bit right. more of a balance instead of Rah! but if it's the vibe and that's the vibe for the video i respect that Oh, Hi Just is it Hindu get that Pez out. is what you're talking Hindu, about. Hindu Pez, right. yeah. We Hindu did not Pez. play that one on the show. Apologies for that. Yeah. We've got to wrap yeah, it up, apologies though. For Lenny, that. thank you so much. This was a real thank marathon, you guys. Right? I can't believe thank how many guys. tracks we got through. Woo! See, I have, I have some <laughs> notes, guys. I have notes. So you know? let me just say again for everybody who submitted, um, you're already in the Discord, obviously. So that is where uh, we'll first announce the top, the, the winners. We have a one, two, and three. And again, we have like a T-shirt and three sample packs for the winner. We get second place is two sample packs. Third place is one sample pack. And then, you know, who knows? But one of one or more of you may be in contact with Lenny about the your future possibilities. Well, who I knows? will when I when I get back to you. I'll get back to you guys on everything so yeah. there won't be a big lag. Um, I hurt my back, so oh, no, if you Lenny. guys, yeah, you know, it's you so bad. This? I'm Injured? I did this injured. I have Dude, a cane. That a I, I was taking those heavy 150 pound speakers and I was taking oh. it up the stairs with my wife and it was just like, click. maybe that was a bad idea. Lenny. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad idea. I was just moving them around like an idiot. But oh, in any case, right. uh, I will listen to everything thoroughly. Mm -hmm. uh, then I, I have the names of the tracks, the names of the winners, and we'll, we'll get some stuff over to you. Just so you know, when you get the notification from John, all you need to do is go to loopmasters.com, industrial strength, and you can you pick do codes? any pack. Yeah, I, I need to see your link, All right. and then I will physically send you the pack via WeTransfer, and you can do it. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. it, it's, it's easier for me that way. Okay. The only things we'll that are not... We'll explain all that in the, in, yeah. in the Discord for those of you who uh, yeah. have submitted and are this, awaiting an answer. The only thing and, we can't uh, do is, is the bundles, because they're not packs. They're just okay. internally linked. So Got it. Okay. Uh, other understood. than that, the world is yours. Great. And then I'll also, on the show... Just so everybody knows who won, who isn't on the Discord, we want to give you the credit that you deserve and give deserve, you, yes. get your name out there for everybody. So thanks once again, sure. Lenny. This was fun. It was great. Thank to hang you guys. Out. Awesome. And, uh, everybody who submitted, nice work from everyone. Thanks to all of Very you watching, and hanging out, and listening. Very Appreciate good. Your support for all these uh, pr producers and uh, yes, I'll see you and next time. You got it. Thanks again. All right. Woo. Like dark black ominous clouds. <laughs>